guys, how everybody is doing? I got a little snap poo that happened. I did a video, I did the uh, commentary on it, and for some reason it got messed up. I did it last night, yes I did. I did the commentary for Bell Collective last night, and it got messed up, so... I tried to fix it. My husband tried to fix it. When tried since this morning. I went to sleep last night trying to fix it. I woke up this morning still in the same place. Can't fix. My husband tried to fix it. I tried to fix it. We just can't fix it. So I said I just redo it over. Okay? <laughs> I I mean, oh, it's a snap who? I don't know what's going on with it. Um uh, Oh my God. So I'm just redoing that, okay? And and everything. So this is the, uh, oh, this is, I sure do hate it, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, now this is Bell Collective. A lot of you probably haven't seen, uh, seen this, but uh, they're on their uh, third season. Um, they're the one I'm going to do right now is the third episode. Uh, last night when I did it, I did m mix in some of uh, the first and second episode with it by talking about it. So uh, you know who the players are or the cast members are. But uh, let me just put my disclaimer out there. Everything is alleged. Uh, this is my opinion, my opinion only. And this video that I'm making is for educational and entertainment purposes only all right so we got that out of the way now uh we're going to go ahead and talk about uh this is season three and episode three now i have been watching this since the very first season when it came on and um uh, also the very first episode i have never missed an episode at all okay but with this one here I fell asleep. This uh, episode here, three, I fell asleep three times on it, trying to watch it, okay? And by the fourth time, I finally got through it, okay? Not that it was boring. Not at all. <laughs> I had, uh, you don't see a brace on my hand, but normally, sometimes you may, because it hurt my hand fooling around with baby girl. A baby girl, okay, on uh, Memorial Day weekend. Was it Memorial Day? Yeah. Okay. But anyway, um, so we're talking about uh, episode three, and sometimes I may throw in a little bit of uh, one and two with it so you can see what, what a cast member started from or who they are or, or whatever. But uh, so this episode is called Lying and Spying. Somebody, I always lie. Somebody's always spying on somebody. Okay? Okay. And this, uh, these, let me just uh, tell you who they are if you've not really been into this show. And I think you will be into it because I am. And this this is another uh, um, old production, old, old network um, reality show. Okay? And is also produced by none other than uh, Carlos King. Okay? So I just want to let you know that. All right? Uh, also, now let me just tell you who they are. These are five um, beautiful African-American women uh, in, in the South, Jackson, Mississippi. Okay? They are all um, doing their thing, making their money, making their bags, and doing well for themselves in Mississippi, you know. And, you know, I used to go down to Mississippi all the time because I had a grandfather that lived in Mississippi. And as a child, we would go down there and stay with our grandfather, you know. My, you know, most people don't realize that. My, um... My grandfather, he was, he was biracial, but you couldn't tell. You would think he was a white uh, man, but he was not. He was black. So, and it was always funny because he had two driver's licenses. He had a 
one that said he was black and one that said he was white. And he went to the white schools, he did everything. And then when uh, school wasn't, uh, when he was out of school and school wasn't going on, he would hang out in the uh, black neighborhoods, okay? Not, not to play the race card or anything, but that's just it. That's what he did. And so I grew up um, visiting and staying with him a lot, you know. And it was, uh, it was always great to see the other way people live. Because when I come back home, it's different. When I go there, he, he would always tell us, you don't have to run across the street, baby. He was uh, once going somewhere um, to the mall and, you know, through this parking lot. And, and we as kids, I remember uh, we was uh, getting out the car. We got out the car with him trying to go in, uh, get, uh, you know, out of the way so cars won't hit us. And he just taking his time, just walking, just as slow, taking his time, and told us, you don't have to run, baby. You don't run. And we looking at him, trying to figure out why. Why we don't run across the street? He said, nobody's going to hit you. You're with me. You know, and, you know, he said because he was, you know, of his skin color. So they're not going to hit you because you're with me. You know, they're not going to hit me. <laughs> so, and that was always funny. I'd never forgotten that. The things he would say and tell us and everything. And and stuff. He would tell us how he would go to the clubs and stuff. It was always so great to be around him uh, and everything. And I and he was so proud of us. Uh, he, I mean, because if you ever would look at him, nobody knew. Nobody at his school knew he was a black man. Nobody, because that was the school. Well, when you know, and and you got to remember back in those days, nobody knew. Because his mother was white, the rest of his family was white. He was, he looked just like them. And, and I wish I still had that picture. Uh, I haven't seen that picture in a long time. Uh, I think I still have it on a t-shirt of him. Because uh, we, we had all a family t-shirt. You know how you have a family t-shirt and everybody's picture on the t-shirt. And he was on the t-shirt. Oh, yes. But anyway, let's get back to the show. That's how Jackson, I know of Jackson, Mississippi, because I had a, a grandfather that lived in Jackson, you know. Right. But anyway, and so that was, and that was my mother's father, to be clear. That was my mother's father, okay? Uh, and he only had one child by my grandmother. My grandmother had a lot of kids, but uh, my mother was the oldest, and and he was the, uh, she only had he only had her, okay. But anyway, uh, yes. Um, but also now the uh, the cast members is like I said, it's five uh, women. They're all uh, business owners, successful. Uh, they're go-getters, work hard. They work hard for their money, and they are making it in Mississippi. They're turning Jackson, Mississippi, put Jackson, Mississippi on the map. Yes, they did, although it's on the map because it's the capital. But they turned Jackson, Mississippi around. And I want to uh, give them applause for that. Yes, yes. So uh, I'm going to, uh, when I talk about them, I'm going to uh, maybe, when I bring up their name, maybe bring a little history from episodes one and two so you know who they are. Okay? So the scene starts out, um, well, let me just say this. The, the main reason uh, in Season one, um, Latrice 
not Latrice, uh, what's her name? Uh, Leticia. Leticia wanted to uh, reveal a very uh, mid-century historic historical district, uh, which, which is called, uh, I think it's First Street. Uh, let me just make sure. I think it is First Street. I, uh, I don't know why it's not on my mind like it should be. It is First Street. I think it is. I think it is First Street. I want to say First Street, and if I'm wrong, I'll, change, I'll let you know. But I think it is First Street. Front Street. Is it First Street or Front Street? First Street. Front Street. Well, I think it's First Street. But anyway, uh, and if I'm wrong, I'll correct it. Uh, but everything is allegedly, and this is my opinion. But uh, you got, it starts off um, with, let me see. It starts off, uh, yes, it starts off with uh, the baby shower. Because uh, episode two start ended with the baby shower. So it picks back up with the baby shower from So Gucci. Now So Gucci is a realtor. She's the, uh, one of the top realtors in Jackson, Mississippi. And she, she's she's on it. When I say the top, she's on it. Okay? And she have a husband named JJ, okay? Now So Gucci got one daughter with JJ and then he got two daughters with his ex. So, but they was raised all together, okay? So, um, but JJ's daughter, one of his daughters is pregnant and his ex-wife is throwing the baby shower for, you know, for uh, his daughter. So, so Gucci have to go, you know, they're not like good friends or good acquaintance and stuff like that just because they're ex and ex-wives and stuff, right? So so Gucci goes and JJ goes to the baby shower and everything to support their daughter and everything. And while so Gucci is there, Latrice shows up with her husband, Clifton. He sometimes they call him daddy. She calls him daddy, but his name is Clifton or Cliff, right? But anyway Clifton is from money, you know, he's from money. So he, uh, they live a very beautiful, lavish homes and, and on land, 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 land. And they, they enjoy themselves on it, okay? And they invite people on, all the other uh, cast members sometime on the land, and they do a lot of things out there, you know, have fun out there, so... Uh, but she called him daddy and everything. He's much older than she is. She's very young. He's the, she's the age of his kids. He has some grown kids and she's the, their age, okay? So, but anyway, uh, Latrice, she's the what we call the goddess of hair. She has a hair business, okay? Uh, and she sells bundles, okay? And her bundles... Uh, she's been um, on magazine covers and stuff, all like this and stuff. And when I say she is making it, she is making it. She is making and rolling that money big, you know. You know, not that the other ones are, they're not, but she is making it. She's the goddess of hair, and it's called goddess lint. You know, the lint of the hair, the goddess lint, Okay. She actually, uh, one of her things was to start uh, selling uh, hair in a vending machine. You know, you go out to the mall, and there's a vending machine, you need some hair, uh, a bundle. You just put, you know, get, just like you get in a soda, just get you some hair. And she have her own shops and stuff like that. And so her, uh, at the baby shower, she's there with her husband, and so Gucci there with his, her husband, so, so Gucci is kind of upset with Latrice because Latrice uh, bought a 4,000 square foot building for her next, uh, for her goddess Lent, right? Her hair, hairline, you know, her hair business, right? 
She already have one building and she, or a couple buildings. So she, you know, that's how you do it, Somi. When you want a building, you don't rent and then run away and don't pay. You go and buy you a building. That's what they do. These women may be from Mississippi. You may need to take notes, girl, because these women know how to do it. Okay? This is to show, this, all this is allegedly, but this is to show that you tried to get on in Mississippi. In Jackson, Mississippi, Bell uh, Collective, you tried to get on this show allegedly, and that's what I heard, and that's just my opinion, but you couldn't get on it because you live too far away outside of Jackson. But you, you be chasing all these uh, reality shows trying to get on. Just my opinion, and that's as just allegedly, but yeah, these women, I, to be honest with you, I don't think you would have fit, uh, fit in with that cast, this cast here, because they don't play that stuff. These women are about their business. These are, these are grown women. Although you're grown, but you act like a teenager. You act like a little kid. And then you got a foul mouth. And then you have less words. You know, you don't have, know enough words to be around these women. Okay? Just my opinion. My opinion only, and it's just allegedly. But so Gucci and Latrice decide to go outside and step outside. Black women is started causing chaos up in the building, like on Love and Hip Hop. Not with Melanie. Melanie don't do chaos. The rest of the cast member on Love and Marriage. Yeah, that's the chaos. So they, they just disrupt and everything. So they just step outside like women. So Gucci explained to it, so you uh, bought a 4,000 uh, 4, square foot building with someone else, and I was the one that sold you all your different properties. Your, uh, you know, when you want a new home, when you want a new building, you want this. See, that girl buys stuff. She don't rent stuff. Latrice, she buys stuff. Okay? So, and Latrice said, I'll let you be mad. You're right. You've been my realtor, and I'll let you be mad. And, you know, it's okay for you to be mad. But they just squashed it and just back to normal. You see that? That's how grown women do it. That's how grown women do it. Okay to disagree and then just let's move on. Okay? And then so after that, uh, then it goes to the next scene, which uh, 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 Akeisha. Uh, Akeisha. Ooh, these names. I tell you. I can't get, Akeisha, okay, it starts with an A, okay, but then she meets up with uh, Latricia, Latrice, that's the goddess, meant, the one with the goddess hair, okay, uh, the owner, all the goddess hair, she have a, um, a manager that runs one of her stores named Josh, or Joshua, or Josh, whatever you want to call him, because uh, he goes by both, I guess, uh, but she meets up with him because he's also a makeup artist for about five years. And she heard in his voice when it was on the phone that something didn't sound right. So she rushed over to a goddess uh, store and to talk to him. And goddess man is virgin hair, if you want to know. But anyway, and then he decided to go in and start telling all his manager, I mean his boss, which is Latrice, Miss Goddess Lint, Miss Goddess of the Hair, all her business. And the reason why he's telling all her business because she, I'm going kind of fast now because uh, I, I broke it all down last last night before the, uh, it messed up on me. But um, he, what was I? Telling all of her business because in Jackson, Mississippi, they have a water crisis going on. And all this is allegedly, but they have a water crisis going on, and it's and that's my opinion. And I and I know about the, I already know about the water crisis though, because yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, they do have uh, there's a water crisis allegedly, if some people say allegedly, uh, but uh, in Mississippi. So he's he was affected by the water crisis. So she decided to let her employee come and stay in, in her big, beautiful, big, beautiful house. Big, beautiful house, okay? You got to remember, Clifton is for money. Clifton don't live small. He live big, okay? 
And um, so, and so he decided upon himself to tell all of his his uh, boss business to her friend. That's a no, 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 no. But he did. Telling about how they sleep in different beds, how he treats her and how he treats him and how he, the things he do and the things that he say. And, but you're living in this man's house. And when I first saw the fact that you was living in it, and even myself, I said, you're talking to this man like this is your house. Ooh, I said, you can live up in my house talking to me like that. That's what I said to myself watching the scene. And I guess Clifton felt the same way. Yeah. But anyway, uh, but he was talking about and he talked about uh, how he moved out and everything. And and the one, uh, a, 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 a Keisha, a Keisha did tell him that that's, a, that's something you shouldn't do. You shouldn't uh, talk about what's going on in her house like that because that's getting you a, a little too close for that because this is your job. That's your, that's your boss. And that's her husband. You don't get between a husband and, 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 and a wife. No, you don't do that. Because a wife is always going to protect her husband. Her husband is going to protect his wife. You're the odd man out. Okay? But anyway, and then after they, I got there with that, um, she, it's called Fair Street, not First Street, Fair Street, Fair Street. F-A-I-R, Fair Street. Oh, I told you it was going to come to me. It just happened to dawn on me. Fair Street, Fair Street. Okay. The reason why it's called Fair, uh, the reason why it dawned on me, because the, remember uh, the woman that went to see Josh, the store manager, her, uh, Akisha? She is, she is actually, uh, one of the per, uh, people that's taking it up on herself to redevelop Fair uh, Street into the way that it was in its uh, golden days. And her her name is very big. And uh, her name is like a legacy in Jackson, Mississippi. Because her family uh, had property and businesses on Fair Street. They was part of Fair Street. So her last name carried weight. That's why. Okay? It carried some weight. And she moved back to Mississippi, Greenville, Mississippi, just to take on that task. Okay? Now, that's why I remember it. Because of her. Fair Street. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, and all this is alleged. But uh, also... Now, Latrice, um, Latrice, that's the goddess length of hair, her and her friend, and then Josh come later, meets them at the uh, M bar, the letter M bar, okay? And they go into M bar and having a few drinks, sitting kind of like outside in a booth or whatever you call it. Um, and they're out there just in, relaxing and enjoying and talking and everything. Uh, Josh shows up a little later. But before Josh shows up, Clifton, which is uh, Latrice's husband, pops up on the scene. She didn't tell him where she was going or who she was meeting. He didn't know she was going out. Okay? So, but he pops up. Okay? You want to know what she's doing there and everything. So, he just let him stay. Over there, and he stood over, across in front of him, and against the wall with his drink. And then Josh shows up, and Josh trying to talk crap about her husband, and she said, "You need to uh, stop talking about uh, Clifton, which is her husband, Daddy, because uh, Daddy is already mad at you anyway. You know, don't fool with him. He's getting a little drinks in him. You better leave him alone. The man ain't bothering you right now. But anyway." Uh, but Cliff, Clifton, which is her husband, wanted her to step outside so they can have a conversation, okay, out in the parking lot. Uh, and he did have a conversation with her. He said, this is what he was telling his wife, 
Clifton. F, F, N, he got one more, no, he got one mother F, wait, you better check your mother F, friend, F, they say anything about me, and Tree said, okay, then um, he said, uh, B, somebody talking about, I'm going to snap Josh, that mother F, that's Clifton talking, he's telling uh, Latrice that outside the M barn, and then Latrice, um, you know, she said okay again, the only thing she can say, and then she did let Clifton know, and not Cliff, Josh know, you better be quiet about daddy, because daddy ain't happy with you right now, okay? But anyway, um, then from that, it goes on to a scene with Latrice, um, Latrice meeting at um, Letitia. Latrice is meeting at Letitia. Letitia is this man's wife. It's his wife, and his name is Glenn, okay? Okay? And the reason, I have him up here for a reason, okay? Not just because... He's just here, okay? He, he's waiting. But anyway, um, but anyway, um, she meets uh, Latrice at her office. Latrice got, uh, she, he, which is his, uh, Latricia, his wife, they're kind of going through things. Uh, first episode, they was living together. She was working out of her home. Okay? She's running her business out of her home. By episode two, she was living with her mother, moved, separated from the house with him, and moved in with her mother with her son, because they have a son together. Okay? A young son. And they're living with her mother, and he wasn't too happy about that. But her mother always got him to see the light of day, you know? You know, and he, 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 okay, it's just allegedly, and I'll go back into a little more about him. Whew, it gives you, mm, okay, but anyway, uh, so they was, Latrice, Latrice came there to his wife, to her office, and you may want to take notes, uh, Stormy and Latrice, not me, Stormy and, uh, Tisha from Love and Marriage Huntsville. This woman started from her house not too long ago and then from her mother's house working into a building and got her name outside in a bronze, I think metal or bronze, it's bronze with her name. Letitia, it's uh, Letitia Pearson Enterprise. On at her office outside the door. And I guess y'all just don't know how to do that. And she ain't sure no office. And her office don't have that furniture that you put together. If you go into her office, she got a beautiful office. And she also have a receptionist there working before you get to her office. Unlike some people. And I don't think she has a multi-million dollar company. She just works hard and smart and still making her bag. So y'all may need to take some printers from these people in Mississippi. You really do, guys. Uh, Leticia uh, and uh, Marso and Stormy, y'all need to take some printers and stop pretending like I don't have that piece of paper. I should have. Oh, I wish I had somebody to write that on the paper. That, that one million plus. What the heck is that? Guys, we get some crazy things out in our yard. Hey, can somebody hear me? Hey, look on the monitor. Out here by the fire pit. 
go to the, one of the monitors and look out here by the fire pit. What is that uh, walking? Just, it was on the fire pit and it jumped off. What is that? Look over past, like going to those trees. You don't see anything out there? Look, look uh, past the bay windows, going by the, uh, the, the things that, that, that's the door. He's going out. I tell you, I'm serious. I'm looking out these big giant bay windows from my bedroom, right? And I can see all the pool and everything. And I'm just, my husband's out there now. I said, I tell you, I'm serious. We get some stuff out here, guys. He's looking for it. I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard to tell what I was looking at, but it was walking and jumping, jumped up on the thing. Y'all have to excuse me, and I'm not gonna be editing nothing. I ain't got time for this. I already have one just kept messing up on me from last night. He's getting ready to come. Tonight. You didn't see anything? You didn't spot anything? It's on the monitor. You uh, Later on when you get time, play it back and you'll see what I'm talking about. What time is it? Look at the time and just go back just a few minutes later on and you'll see it. Okay. Thank you guys. <laughs> so let's get back to it. So the trees uh, went um, to a goddess length of hair, went to her office so she can help her with a speaking engagement that she had. Okay. And with that speaking engagement, she needed help because uh, Latricia is very well. She's good in speaking, okay? So she needed help because she doesn't like speaking in front of large crowds and stuff. So that's where she needs that help at. So she's there to help her. But while they was there, they're talking about their husbands. And the uh, goddess length of hair, Latrice, uh, she was telling her, her and daddy is going through some things. But uh, also... Uh, she, and then his wife was telling the, her, uh, uh, God has lent her hair, how she is so afraid. Now, remember, this is going to come up a lot. She is so afraid to leave her husband. She's not going to say this once or twice. She's going to say this to all of her girlfriends and to other people. She's so afraid, and you're going to see it. She is so afraid to leave this man. Because the repercussions of leaving him is worse than staying. Leaving him, that's just allegedly, and that's just, uh, this, this is allegedly, okay? And my opinion, but it's allegedly, okay? So they talked about that. Now, the, the next thing, uh, we go to um, uh, Tamara and Marie. Tam, uh, Tamara and Marie Tamara is a radio personality. You're going to start knowing who these uh, cast members are, like you do on Love and Marriage and uh, Atlanta, the Housewives and stuff. But Tamara is a radio personality. And Marie is a, uh, she's a business owner that owns uh, a, a several uh, rehab facilities. Okay? And you know, understand why, uh, because in past episodes, it show where her mother is uh, an addict, okay? And that's all allegedly, okay? But uh, Marie is pretty messy in my book, just saying. And Tamarin, she reminds me of the, like, you know how Mel get up when mess starts, they start mess, and Mel say, deuces, she got to go, she leave, she get up something, like, I got to go. That's Tamarin. When stuff starts hitting the fan, she want to go, it's, I got to leave, bye. She don't care what, who fighting and who fussing and what information being shared. She gone. Okay? But anyway, so they're there uh, at this um, having lunch, at this bar having lunch. And uh, they, it's over. Marie want to talk about, are you really engaged or how long have you ever been engaged and all this is the nonsense. You're lying about this. You're lying about that. That's Marie. 
She want to call everybody a liar, okay? That's what we're reading. You're going to realize that. Uh, and then uh, then she's talking about how uh, Tamara lied about she don't want to be in this four, this group chat with four, the other four cast members. And that means the group chat was Tamara, a Marie, Latrice, and so Gucci. And Tamara didn't want to be in there if, uh, what's her name? Start with a A. Uh, oh, Lord. Akeisha. If Akeisha's in there, she don't want to be in that group, group chat again. Okay? But anyway, and so Maria's calling her a liar, and she's saying, no, no, no. I don't even want to go over that because Marie just called. You know, every time Tamara said anything, she lying. She lying about everything. And Tamron is, uh, she's more protective about her, her space and her business and what, and, and her life. She don't like putting everything, everything that she do out there because these women were spread it like jelly and peanut butter. So she keeps a lot of stuff close to her vest. Okay. Now then, so we're going to leave them alone. And then it goes to uh, Latrice again, and she meets up with uh, Akeisha they meet up at this place called Happy Land for kids, where kids go and just jump up, jump around, and all these jumping things and, 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 and all this stuff. You know how kids play in all these little things and climb up and slide down and these big balls they're falling on in. That's where they meet. But uh, the, uh, Akeisha has a son that she brings, cute little boy, beautiful little boy. And Latrice, you would not believe this, bring her three is it three she brings with her? I, I think she got three grandkids. I think she only brings two with her. Or is it two or three? I can't remember. No, she brings three. She brings all three of them with her. Yes. And remember, she is the same age as Daddy, which is Clifton's kids, right? And that's what uh, Akeisha finds, finds so funny, that she's the same age as her kids, but she's a grandmother. And it's so funny. Yeah. That's what she finds so funny about it. But they had a great time talking. And Akeisha decided to tell Goddess of Hair, which is Latrice, about what Joshua said when she met up with him um, at her shop. He's told all your business about how y'all sleep in separate rooms, how your husband treats you, what he say to you, the things he said to him, how he treat him, and everything. And she said she's going to check him on that. He got, she got to talk to him because she's been knowing him for a long time. He's been managing her store and they're really good friends and she offered her home to him when because in Mississippi the water prices, the water comes out brown. It's not like she said, it's not good for you to sleep uh, drink or, or, or wash your clothes in or take a bath in. Uh, so she invited him over to her home because she's not facing that water crisis at her place because they live on their own big, huge uh, eight, uh, land, a lot of land. So they don't have that crisis, okay? But in, while he's living there, he's selling her business. Yeah, so she, she told her, she said, just like I wouldn't want him to tell me about what's going on in your house, he shouldn't be telling you what's going on in my house. But I'm going to check him on that. But they, they kept talking after that, a civil conversation, and enjoyed themselves. No fussing and fighting, nobody trying to up one of anything. Just kept it smooth. You see how these women are doing? Even in a disagreement, they keep it smooth and keep it, keep it moving, moving. Except for Marie, she's still kind of messy. She is. She is still kind of messy. Now, also, now you meet Tamron on a date with her boyfriend, uh, Demond. Okay? They have a date night. It's dinner. And uh, and they're sitting there talking about uh, what's going on, how their day going and everything. Looking good and everything. She's the radio personality, okay? And she's pretty busy because she talked about how her... Uh, the man over the radio station want, been wanting her to start her own podcast now. And this has been going on for a while. And she's thinking about it this time now. But anyway, uh, she was saying she got to get her own cat cave. Like a man got a, his own man cave. She wanted her own cat cave. She wanted to move out and get her own place. Because she just moved in with him. 
she claimed uh, it was due to a bribe or something or it tricked her. I don't know about a ring already being at the house. I don't know. But anyway, it's all allegedly. But she wanted to move out because she said he goes to bed too early. He goes to bed at 8 o'clock. He's in bed at 8 o'clock. And that's too, early. that's too early for me. 8 o'clock? Oh, Lord, I wouldn't even know what to do with myself going to bed at 8 o'clock. But he was too busy enjoying dinner eating oxtails. Gosh, I wish somebody, let me just say this. I wish somebody would cook me some oxtails. I never had them, but I want to try oxtails. I really do. We don't eat oxtails, ox, not tail, oxtails in my house. My husband never had one. I, 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 I'm, I want one. If somebody's out there know how to cook oxtails, uh, invite me. Because I want to try them. I really do. Because I've seen other people like Tamar Braxton uh, cooking oxtails. What's his name? Uh, he's on that Miami uh, Love and Hip Hop. Uh, he sings with, uh, what's her name? Uh, I forgot. He, he, he has this restaurant. Uh, I forgot his name. He cooks oxtails. And when I saw them doing it on TV, I said, oh my God, that stuff look good. I want some oxtails. So if anybody know how to cook oxtail, let me know. Don't ask me to cook them because I don't know how. But I would love to watch you so I can eat some. And then it was talking about chillings too. I think I'm saying it right, chillings. Chillings, yeah. Now I had had chillings be chillings before. Uh, and if I'm saying it wrong, you help me out now. But I, when I was growing up, uh, my my uh, best friend that lived across the street, her mother would uh, would cook chillings, and they would always invite me over for them because my mom couldn't cook, you know. So. That's probably why I can't cook. I don't know. But anyway, um, I really want to. And when I went to see my stepdad and stepmom before the pandemic, right before the pandemic, like a week or two before the pandemic, uh, they cooked some chitlins. And I ate some. And it was good. Okay? So... But I, 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 I'll take either one. I'll take them both. i eat both of them if you... I, 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 I said I want to try out sales. We're we going to have to see how they look first for me. Cause, or you just don't tell me what I'm eating. Just say, then you tell me, you always want to eat some, now you just ate some, okay? Whatever. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead with So Gucci and Latricia. Latricia. Uh, they're going to meet up at this uh, new condo. This is where it ends. They're going to meet up at this new condo with Maria. Marie. Marie is the one I told you that's messy all the time. They're going to meet up with her. Okay? And Marie is the one that uh, has the rehab facilities. Okay? And so they're going to meet up with her at this place where he is at. At this condo. Okay? So they're going to meet up there with Glenn. His name is Glenn. And uh, because so Gucci found a condo for her to lease. Marie is going to uh, lease the condo for Latricia because Latricia needs what she called her peace. She's a, just her word, she's afraid to leave her husband. She's terrified to leave her husband. It's not my words. Everything is just allegedly. I'm not saying this. Don't come back on me on it. This is what I heard. This is what she, I heard her say. But anyway, so she's afraid to leave her husband, right? Uh, and they got a son together. This is Glenn. And just, I didn't say this. I'm just telling you what I heard, and it's allegedly. They say the man is crazy. Everybody call him crazy on the show. Crazy. I didn't say that now. It's just allegedly, too. Okay. But anyway, so uh, so Gucci and Latricia, they're already there. They're waiting on uh, Marie to sign the contract, right? And uh, Maria is uh, leasing the apartment and going to let, and then uh, let Latrice, 
I mean, Latricia, move in. Uh, move in. Because she, because they all think it's best that she get away from him. And, and that's not me saying that. That's what they said, allegedly. But they call it escape. Now, I didn't call it escape. That's what I heard. And that's what they call it, escape. She got the escape from her husband, okay? But anyway, they saying she need to make that escape. That's what they said. That's why uh, Marie said she's putting her name on that lease. She's signing the lease. It's her place. She just letting her friend move in. She ain't going to live there because she got a place. But her, her Latre uh, Latricia and her son is going to move in there. And because if she leaves it, then Lynn has no right to that place. He can't come to that place without her permission. He can't even step on the step. He can't come nowhere near it. He ain't got nothing to do with that place. And he's not welcome because it's not her, her, uh, his wife's place. Her name is nowhere on it. It's Marie's place. And that do make some sense. But this is all allegedly. Now, but so this man, they're all sitting down talking after she signed the paper. They all just all sitting on the couch. Uh, Latrice and Marie sitting on the couch. And uh, uh, Lugu, so Gucci is sitting in one of the big chairs. And this man don't knock. See the door? You can see through the uh, glass door, the door. He just walks up, open up the, start opening up the door. Maria sitting and she jumps out. Let me do this. She jumps up, everybody jumps up and they start running. Down the hallway. Woo! Just woo! Just jump up. Like that. Sing like they saw a ghost. Woo! Like that. Okay? Getting away from him. Because I didn't say this now. They said he's crazy. I didn't say that. I just saw it in, in the previous episodes. And the reason they're having a hard time is because in episode uh, one, she didn't know about it like she did that he spreads it wide all over, not just in one town, not just in Jackson, but he travels. So when he's traveling, he's spreading it around. He can't keep his thing in his household like somebody else we know named Martell. I'm not saying his last name. It's just allegedly. He don't keep his thing in the household. And in episode two, they was tr trying to figure out whether that child the woman got is his. And I think they, she said he got somebody else. He got a child by somebody. That's all allegedly. That's, I didn't say that. I just heard it. Okay? But anyway, that's just what I heard. It's allegedly in my opinion, though. But anyway, that was episodes one and two. Basically, round two, it was just all over episode, uh, not episode two, season two. It was episode, uh, seasons one and two, but two is when it really came out. Now, but also, they all jumped up and thought, oh, as soon as Marie saw him, she jumped up, and they all jumped up too. They, and so Gucci was so afraid of this man, just my opinion, but allegedly. Because she even said it. She's afraid. She never seen nothing like this. And all her years of doing real estate, she never seen nothing like this. But anyway, uh, he blows up and him and Marie goes at it. Like, they go at it. Like, and they was trying to show him uh, the paperwork, the, uh, the contract, that, no, she owned this place. Marie owned this place. Not your wife. And he said, well, why are you buying a, a leasing a place for my wife, a, a condo for my wife? He, she, he said, because she's my girl. That's why. Well, you don't be, I'm here. I've always been here. You don't be need to lease nothing for my wife. And it just go on and on. And his wife just says, <laughs> like that. Okay? And so Gucci just stayed out of the way because she ain't getting into that. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. So Gucci got a husband. But she ain't used to no crazy. I didn't say that. Crazy person like that. But, um. Just all the ledge and everything. So, but like, so Gucci told her, uh, you can put him out. Because basically, this is your place now, so you can put him out. So, that's what happened. And then after, uh, but he told, had his wife to walk, step outside with him. 
but it went on and on. And then, like, uh, before they stepped out, like, uh, like Marie told him, why are you stalking her? He said, I'm not stalking her. That's my wife. I can't stalk my wife. And even his wife said, she believed in one of her confessions, you know, where they'd sit, sit on the couch and talk. She said, this is allegedly now, that he is either tracking her or recording her because he knows too much of what she's doing and where she's at. He's either tracking or recording her. Mm, who do that sounds like, guys? Ooh, Lord. Who do that sounds like? Lisi ain't as ugly as uh, Montel, but it ain't like he's the cutest man, but he ain't that ugly. He ain't ugly like Montel. Montel is just my opinion, my opinion only. He's the devil incarnate in the pink suit. Okay, but we ain't gonna talk about that. But anyway, um, Marie and him go at it back and forth. And so Marie tells him to get out. He goes out with his wife goes out with him and she she's just trying to get him to calm down calm down you're not thinking straight and everything and and he, he just fussing going off the rails allegedly and she just was telling she just she did to say i just need my peace i just need my peace i just want some peace she kept doing this here like that she just wants some peace he said you think i'm gonna let my family go like that and she's and she did mention to them, after she, uh, Marie told her to come back in and told him to leave and go find a toy at, go to Walmart and buy himself a toy. So when his wife came back in, they all sat down and uh, so Gucci talking about how she was so, so so afraid of something like that. She never seen nothing like that. But uh, she was saying that it's, it's going to be very hard to get away from him. She's going to have to escape because he's not going to take it lightly. His family is, he's losing his family, which is her and her son, because everybody tends to leave him. He's, he's, he suffered from abandonment issues. Uh, he suffered from this. Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't have no degree in doctoring or, or psychiatrist or anything. I'm just telling you what. Uh, his wife said, Latricia said, that's all I'm doing. So, and it's all allegedly. But he have a problem with people leaving him. That's what she said. And she said, it's easier to stay with him because if you leave him, it's going to be worse. And we already see that right now with somebody going on. Mm -mm. But guys, tell you what. It, it ends there. It ends there with him, okay? But go ahead and, um, guys, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, if you can go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And please uh, leave me a comment and everything. And that little thumbs up that goes, goes like this here, go ahead and click on that. Click, 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 click on that, okay? And uh, you can share this video uh, with other family members if you like. And I hope y'all enjoyed the commentary, but make sure you like and subscribe. My numbers are getting there, and I'm so proud of all my subscribers. Thank you all, guys. Okay? And I do have, you can follow me on Instagram, but I also I have a cash app. Okay? And if you want to... Catch me on my next video. And I'm sorry I couldn't get the other one out to you because I, I really went in depth on the, uh, the cast members. But just make sure uh, you like and subscribe, okay? And, and please watch the whole video through its entirety because I need that watch time. I really need that watch time, guys. Okay? All right. Thank you. I'm getting ready to get ready for bed.